Was it an honor seeing Coach Gus wearing one of your T-shirts? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's great. That's great. I seen, I seen him on the, uh, the way. He was leaving as I was coming in. I seen him as Sarah. I was like, that's a good-looking guy. And he sure he needed to chuckle a little bit. But, yeah, that's that's awesome he support me like that. Yeah, what's the inspiration for that design? Because I know it's kind of a throwback. You still, like, have shirts like that. When I was a kid, maybe in the early 90s, yeah, yeah. You know, a lot of people have liked to get that shirt for their kids. What was the inspiration to come up, come up with a shirt like that? Uh, that specific shirt he had on is like a bobblehead type of thing. Um, Got my face on there, so people kind of get to see my face a little bit. You know, nobody gets to see me. I got a helmet on all the time. So, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. Isaiah, I asked Gus about this, about the NIL era and how you know being able to do that kind of thing. What does it mean as a for to you as a player to see your coach wear something that you know with your image on it and and you know kind of in, does that inspire you? Does it kind of help show the benefit of what NIL can yes. do? Yes, you know, it's, like I said, it's awesome that he that he was to wear that, and, and it shows that. Just the kind of coach that we have, you know, players coach, you know, he's, he's here to support us, make sure we're great all the time. And, you know, that's that's something that, you know, I love to play for, play for a guy like that. Um, but, yeah, like, you know, it shows the NIL. Um, we, it gives us opportunity now to, you know, release release our brand, build our, build our brand, build our name and image. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely great that we can do things like that nowadays. Isaiah, first day in, uh, in pads, full contact. Um, is it good to get back out hitting people again? Like yeah, yeah, it was good. You know, get the pads back on, knock it off the rust. Obviously, we haven't played in a long time, and I think everybody did a good job today. Um, uh, definitely, I think more than expected than I had expected that we would be moving so fast and so well so early. So uh, we had a good start to, uh, to spring ball. I mean, definitely had a strong finish uh, last season, but how good does how, how much more fresh do you feel now that last year's kind of behind the injury situation is oh, yeah. in the past? How oh, yeah. fresh that's do you all, feel? That's, that's all in the past now. I'm feeling 100%, you know, so I'm just ready to compete, get better, keep getting better and better every day. What's the early consensus on the quarterback competition with Mikey, John, John Rice, all those guys, Parker, Tom, yeah, yeah. all those guys? Yeah, yeah, right now, I mean, it's – Obviously, there's no clear cut anything right now. You know, they're all, all those guys are competing and looking well. We're splitting the reps, so you know everybody's going with the ones. And how you know how it is right now, ones, twos, and threes is not so important right now. We're just getting in the flow of things. But I've, I've been impressed with with all those guys. Isaiah, Gus said he's kind of treating you like an NFL, like this was an NFL's camp, so to speak. You know, and you know having you do stuff maybe away from practice a little bit, working on some things. He mentioned yoga as one of those things. What is that something you've wanted to do right now this year to kind of get yourself ready, to get your body ready for this final year? Yeah, you know, like like uh, Malzahn has said, you know, me coming back, you know, that's one thing he really had mentioned, you know, treating me like more like NFL guy in terms of my body and taking care of me um, in that way. And big thing he had implemented was just help me out with the yoga. He really got me into yoga, doing that a couple times a week, and uh, that really helps me feel loose and uh, ready to go for each practice. So that was one big thing that we had started. Uh, Coach Malzahn talked about adding some two set, uh, two running back sets in to the playbook. Is that something you're excited about? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, our running back room has a lot of explosive guys, guys who can make a lot of plays. So, you know, I think getting two of us on the field is gonna be really dangerous. The offensive line has a little bit of a different look. Cole Schneider going on to the NFL, um, Ryan Sabota and others coming in. What have you seen from them so far? Yeah, those guys, man, they, they caught into it quick. You know, coming to a new offense, and uh, you can tell they're vet veteran guys who've been playing a lot of football because they, you know, they adapted real quick, like uh, knowing the plays, getting everything right. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, they've been great. You know, I've, I've been really impressed with, with how those guys have performed so far. Tell me more about this yoga. Is it mainly you or is it a bunch of guys doing it? Does an instructor come over to, to the facility? Like, how's yeah. that working? No, nah, it's, 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 it's uh, whoever wants to come on the team. Um, so that we've had a handful of guys, you know, probably 10 plus every, every time that we go. A lot of older guys go mainly. Um, we got some young guys in there as well. But us old guys like me and Sabota, like the, uh, Ryan Sabota, you know, with older guys that go in there a lot, try to get keep our body in tune and ready to go. But, yeah, it's right over here in our uh, facility. Uh, you know, Coach had hired an instructor to come and, and uh, take us through yoga for about an hour, and it, it's really like, like what are the benefits? Are you you're just tr stretching and just kind of your muscle? Like, what That's are the right. benefits That's that right. you're it's getting out of that? A lot of stretching. Um, stretching is like the main thing, and just. Um, that's that's pretty much it, yeah. But it helps with the mind and body. Like I said, it just connects you with your, with your body, your breathing, stuff like that. But a lot of stretching is really is really beneficial to me. Isaiah, you've been around obviously programs for a while. How important you talked about the physical aspect of it. How part of the mental part, the mental health part of things. How how important is it with your with your fifth year guy coming in? How important is it to kind of get your mind right as well as you get ready for a new season? Yeah. Um, you know, my mind is everything. You know, the mind, mind leads first over your body and everything. So you got to really be dedicated to taking care of your mind because, um, you, you know, your body will follow. Um, but, yeah, that's a, that's a big part. You know, I, I'm pretty good um, keeping my head on and knowing what I need to do to, to keep my body right. So, 
Um, as a member of the offense, Isaiah, you obviously face off against the defense a lot, had the first day in pads today, all of that. Um, what is something you felt like um, they did well, or how did they come out? What, what did you see from the defense facing against them today? Yeah, defense, you know, they brought out some physicality. Um, you know, those guys were coming downhill, um, but we were, you know, we were hitting them too. But, you know, there was a lot, a lot of big collisions today, I say, and you can tell guys are hungry, you know, trying to, trying to make a statement, trying to you know, earn their spot early on, in, early on in spring ball. Ryan Swoboda talked about how you were one of the biggest uh, influences on his transfer coming here. Uh, what does that mean to you? You know, I'm just I'm happy he's here. You know, that's that's pretty much all I can say. You know, I'm, I'm cool. I'm, I mean, I'm glad he wants to come play for me. You know, maybe he, he's gonna block me even a little harder. You know, that makes me happy. But uh, but yeah, I'm just you know I'm happy he's here. He's, he's a great great player. You might have been sitting in the back where we asked that Jeremiah kind of what stood out today. He said Kobe Perry came down and made a play. So offensively, what kind of stood out to you, from, maybe from team or individual yeah, or individual yeah. play or? or um, we had some guys make some good plays. I think I think one was you know Trill. Trillian Coles, he, he had made a move and had a quick spin. I think that was pretty, that was a pretty sweet move. He hit on a spin move. Isaiah, how much does you, you mentioned that with, with Ryan? How much does with the transfer portal do guys reach out to you? You know, maybe who once they're in the portal to ask what are programs like, or, or you yourself maybe reach out to somebody and say, hey, now that you're in the portal, you should you should come to UCF or thing. How much does that actually happen now with the portal? Uh, it definitely happens. Um, you know, we we as players get word of guys who may be interested or guys who are in the portal. Or we we're trying to get here and. Um, I'll connect. I'll connect with them, or however it goes. But we'll, we'll definitely connect. I'll talk to them. You know, I'll keep it real with them. You know, if they ask questions they, they they want, I'll keep it real with them. Let them know what it is. And um, luckily, you know, UCF was a great place to be, and everything I was telling them was true. And you know, they decided to come here. So happy to have all those guys that transferred in. You guys had a good season last year. In spite of all the injuries, nine wins, won a big bowl game. I mean, how excited are you when you kind of look at the outlook of this season? You guys return a lot of players. You're plugging in some holes with some transfers like we've been talking about. I mean, how good do you think this team can be this upcoming season? Yeah, you know, we have a chance to be really good. Um, you know, like I said, we plugged in the holes. And uh, right now, we're, you know, we're just getting things together right now. But seeing the potential out there is, is really encouraging. And I think we have a chance to, to be really good, like I said. We talked about NIL earlier. You're signed on as an ambassador for Mission Controller. Have you talked with Mackenzie Milton at all? You know, UCF yeah. legend. Has he talked to you about your time here so far? Yeah, yeah. I've talked to I've talked to Mackenzie a couple times, and you know, he's he's very uh, supportive. You know, he tells me he keeps it real with me. He tells me I'm doing good or whatever. You know, he keeps it real with me, and he's happy. He's, he's cool to connect with. You know, being a UCF legend, you know, he obviously has tons of respect right here, especially for me. Um, all the good things he was able to do right here. But yeah, I've, I've been able to connect with him a couple of times. Speaking of those transfers we've kind of talked about, Kamora Gamble comes in as a tight end, played mm -hmm. at Florida, older, experienced guy. How has he kind of fit into everything? What have you been seeing from him yeah, after the first you know, week? Yeah, he made a, that was another play I could have mentioned. He made a good diving catch earlier, and you know, I got everybody excited with that one. But yeah, he's came in, um, leader, leader right away. You know, he's played a ton of ball just like I have in college, and uh, he's fitting in well. I think he's a great addition to our offense. The other guy, Kobe Hudson, came, he was Auburn's leading receiver last year. Kind of adding to that, Ryan O'Keefe, flash, depth. How has he looked in the early going? Yeah, Kobe, Kobe stepped up well, um, performing well, everything. Made some good catches early on on one-on-ones, you know. He's elusive with the ball, too, so I'm excited to see to see how he can uh, really take our game to the next level this season. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sweet. Sir.